I'm Trisha Turner, real estate broker here in the Houston area. I want to share a little bit of my story with you. I have been in real estate since 1992. School was not always the funnest thing for me. Um, so as soon as I got out of high school, I wanted to go right into work. And I did, I worked in an apartment complex. I quickly moved up the ladder from a leasing agent into the assistant manager role. And the manager didn't want to come to work very much. So it was pretty much just me. I learned how to do the rent rolls. I learned how to run that whole complex, but I got to know everybody in the complex. They came to me for everything. They came to me for their personal problems. They came to me if they couldn't pay their rent and had a story to tell, like why couldn't they? And it was apparent to me, like how much people needed help and so that was very impactful for me. It became like ultra important for me to always be helping people. And I've been that way my whole life. So once I got out of the apartment industry, went, got my real estate license, of course, and did real estate for a little while, it was challenging. The average real estate agent was older. They were like, you know, 40s, 50s, older, and I'm 22. They didn't much care for me in the office and I kind of didn't fit in well there. So I was always kind of doing my own thing. And that's when the college thing, I tried the college thing too. And that didn't work out well for me. And so I got out of real estate, put my license inactive for a while and decided I uh, wanted to do a tanning salon. So it was good for a couple of years until my second child was born. And my second child was born with Down syndrome and autism and every medical challenge out there. And I had to be with him constantly. And at the tanning salon, I was kind of the counselor because all of the clients would come in and they'd spend probably at least five, if not 10 minutes talking to me at the counter before they'd ever go back in their tanning bed. They'd share their stories. They'd shared what was upsetting them for the day. I was literally the counselor. And so the minute that I got removed from the tanning salon, because I had to take care of my son, we started hiring people and our sales plummeted. So we sold the tanning salon. My husband went and got his real estate license. I reactivated my real estate license, but then I also went and got my loan officer's license. Because my son was so medically challenged and I needed to be with him all the time, I could do the loan officers thing right from our house. And so I was a lender for six years. So that was 2004 to 2000, 2010. Now keep in mind during that time, we had a mortgage industry crash and it was in 2008. I also went through a divorce in 2008. And at that time I had three kids. My now ex-husband wasn't helpful. And so it was me raising three kids on a commission-based income with no help in a world where the mortgage industry had crashed and it was a very dark world, super dark. And in 2010, um, I pretty much just got down on my knees and was like, I surrender your will, not my own. Clearly I need help. And I reactivated my real estate license again, let my lender's license go and just started hustling every single day. Hey you guys, hey there. Hey you guys, Trisha Turner here. We are here outside Freckles. I am standing outside of Dickie's Barbecue Pit. We are here this week at Polly's Pizzeria. Hey you guys, Trisha Turner here. We are bringing another listing to you. This one is brand new on the market, located right in Cinco Ranch, North Lake Village. My morning routine has pretty much been my saving grace for years. I get up at 4 a.m. For anyone out there that is not an early riser, that's early, but I need that time by myself. So 4 a.m., especially when you've got a child that's medically dependent sometimes, you only get a couple hours a day by yourself if you're lucky. So it became critical to establish that time when I could be by myself. So 4 a.m., I am up every day drinking some caffeine. I'm then reading, of course. I gotta feed my mind and my soul. So I read scripture every day, I pray, I am in gratitude every day, I write not every day but often and then I'm into a book to self-help. It's something about either real estate, leadership, something that's going to fuel me for the day. If I'm feeling negative, if I'm feeling like I need to learn something more that day, I'm going to go share with my team at my office. I need to have a new idea for them or a new strategy. Then I'm going to go into learning mode. 
And so for me, it became like ultra important to lead by example, my kids and my company. With real estate being such a disruptive industry, you know, there's things coming at us all the time. And so when you're a business owner and you're looking ahead and making plans, you gotta take care of these people. There's families we gotta feed. I've got agents that depend on me to bring things in every single day to help them have an abundant life. And so if I'm not always looking ahead at what's coming at us at the industry and making sure that I'm aligned with the right people, then I'm not doing my job or I'm not doing it well. And I'm not leading by example and I'm not out there doing what I said I would do. I raised my hand and I said, I will lead you and I will help you. And I'll take you and we'll all live an abundant life. And so the moment I did that, I committed to it. And that's what I do every single day. What's funny and kind of ironic is when I was a kid, what I wanted to be when I grew up was a news reporter. And I used to walk around with a microphone and a tape recorder and I would pretend I was interviewing people. And that's what I wanted to do. And now it's here I am many, many years later. And one of my favorite things that I actually get to do now is interview people. So I interview other successful people every Tuesday on a podcast. I have a podcast as well. It's called Anything But Average, Achieving Success in Life. And I interview people all across the United States. And most of them I collaborate with because of EXP. And they share their stories about how they got to be successful. They share tips with others. And that, I find, is the most fascinating thing in my day, in my week. I look forward to every one of them. But I wouldn't have any of that stuff if I wouldn't have aligned myself with EXP because it opened all these doors for me and opened up all these other business owners that are now my friends across the whole world. It's insane. I cannot wait to see where the rest of the world takes us and the rest of our EXP journey goes. I'm here if anybody is out there and needs hope, um, needs me to pray for them. I, I totally will. If you have a child um, that has challenges like Justin and, and you want me to give you words of encouragement or give you be a resource for you, I can do that too. So y'all happy Easter. God is good all the time. He has risen. Hi, this is Mike Hutchison. Uh, I've been a licensed realtor for 29 years. I've uh, been with the Trisha Turner Property Group, working with Trisha for uh, just over a year now. Really felt her uh, passion for what she does, uh, the way that she runs her team, uh, the support that she gives to her team members, and the, the customer care that uh, we give to our clients. Hi, I'm Keisha Cleaver. I'm with Trisha Turner Property Group. I've been in real estate for almost four years. I joined Trisha because we share the same vision on changing the real estate industry for the consumer for the better. I'm at my listing located in Woodtrace. Trisha will be here in just a few minutes and I can't wait to tour the home with you. <laughs> I can't get over the trees in this neighborhood. No, I it's love this. Gorgeous. I wish all neighborhoods had trees like this. No, no. it would provide privacy. It's also like something else to look at. It is. It's a lot like the woodlands. I am super excited to see this house. I hear it has a nice open floor plan. I hear it has room for a pool. Keech is doing really good over here in Wood Trace, and I think she's going to get this one sold really quick. Michael's here waiting too, so we'll have to check it out. See what Michael's thoughts are on this house. I've never really been out here very much. I like it. How are y'all? Hey, good. How are you? Welcome to Wood Trace. Thanks for having us. Thank you. What do you think about the trees? I love this. I love this house. I love the trees. I love that it looks like the woodlands. I like the light fixture, though. Mm -hmm. I know. Isn't the dining room nice? Yeah. Right cool. off the foyer. Picture. Yeah, I love it. And here, it's a great open living room. Yeah. With tall ceilings, big yeah. windows. I love it. Walls of windows. 
Love the fireplace and it, gas. It is gas. Okay. And then you have a great view of the backyard. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that. All the trees. Room for a pool. And know where your neighbors. Yeah, I love that. All right, and let's go check out the kitchen. Okay, let me see. Breakfast area. And then you also have bar seating yeah. into the kitchen. I love the open kitchen, nice big kitchen. I see another staircase back here. Yes, you have two cool. double staircases. Okay, so with two staircases, where does that one go? This goes straight up into a game room, okay. and off the game room, there is a media room. All right, all the KitchenAid appliances have been upgraded. Nice. We have the this nice cool. granite countertops. Yeah. I love this. And then there's a large pantry off the kitchen as well. about the owner's retreat. All right, let's go check out the Did owner's retreat. It? To the right here, you have a nice little sitting area. It's perfect. Oh, yeah, super cute. The views outside, yeah. the nice trees, the big backyard. Yeah. My favorite part about this room is the accent wall. Yeah, it is super cool. Let me see how big this bathroom is. Oh, the bathroom I is heard about it, right? huge. <laughs> and this is a bathroom. Love There's the plenty tub. of room to get ready in. Love this. Oh my goodness. Super cool. You know, I really like this house. I love all the openness. I love the media room and game room up here and all the secondary bedrooms. Really like the double staircase. But really, one of my favorite things is the flex room and the office downstairs. No, I agree. Mine too. You know, with COVID and everybody having to work from home now. You have your quiet space. Yeah. You can get away from the kids. And two people could actually have their own office here. Absolutely. Or you could even make it a nursery. Or a man cave. And homeschooling. It could be a schoolroom. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So can. many choices. There are. This is going to be a good one. It'll sell quick. Yes, ma'am, it will. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you.